So the first question I had when when kind of getting the, the idea for making this patch is, is it even possible? Can I even change the MIDI record quantize and global quantize with Max for Live? And the answer to that, and the answer to lots of Max for Live questions, um, exists within the live object model or the live API. And this is a document that you can you can get uh, online and it's in the in the Max for Live help. And it's really, really an important one. It's the live object model. Let's check it out here. I would even suggest printing a copy of this out so you have it right next to you because you're gonna need it all the time. So this is the live object model. Now what they've done in the um, in the in the in the live API is given every single thing that Max for Live can inter interact with, it gets a specific ID number, right? So it's ID space five or ID space 176 or ID space 1857. There's thousands of possible things that li that Max for Live can interact with within Live, and each one of those things has a specific number. So our first challenge is finding out what's the number of the thing we need to manipulate. And in this in this um, example, we're trying to manipulate the, the MIDI quantize. So the first thing I did when asked to make this device was, okay, does Max for Live actually have the ability to manipulate the MIDI quantize? So I pulled up my trusty live object model and then started scrolling down. First, you'll see this kind of map, which shows you generally how we find specific things. So as you make more and more devices or make complex live sets, you might have... Um, a parameter in a device you want to manipulate. Okay, well that parameter is in the delay plugin, and that delay plugin is in a track, and that track is in a group, and that group is in the live set. And this kind of shows us how we can navigate down to find that one little object and what kind of the path we need to take. Once we find the path, we can send that piece of information to the live.path device and get the ID, which will let us manipulate it with ease afterwards. So the first challenge is finding that path. So I scrolled down and just was reading through. And actually, if you haven't dealt with Max for Live before, um, I would suggest reading the, through this device a bit and seeing kind of what's possible. And then I found the good stuff, which is clip trigger quantization and MIDI record quantize. So as soon as I saw that MIDI record quantization was inside the live object model, I know that this is a possible device to create because uh, MIDI record quantization has get set and observe. And these are really three important things, so let's talk about them individually. If the live object model has get, it means that I can send, I, I can actually figure out what the current um, setting of this parameter is. So right now we're looking at MIDI record quantize. Since there is a get option, Max for Live can kind of spy on live and figure out what the MIDI record quantize option is, which is, which is useful. Set means that Max for Live can actually go in and change that um, from you know an action performed in in Max. Like I, if I click on a button, I can change the MIDI record quantize. We're looking good so far. And observe is a really important one. And observe means I can kind of set up a listener. I can set up a guy that's always aware of MIDI record quantize. And if that ever changes, it will then. Uh, perform something in my patch. So that means that I can be just kind of waiting and looking at the MIDI record quantize. And if the user happens to go to that pull down and change the MIDI record quantize, then I'm then my patch is made aware of it and it can do something in response, like change which button is colored, which is what we're doing um, in this instance. Now we have a little bit more information. Um, instead of sending this specific uh, numbers like one quarter or the word none, there's a series of numbers that represent each of the values of that uh, parameter. So I have, if I send it number one, it's quarter note, two is eighth note, three is eighth note triplet. Um, so it looks like what we're trying to do is totally uh, doable, and that's great. Now we're going to look at how we kind of accomplish some of these things within Max. So yeah, if you're going to get into the Max API programming, the live object model is the most important document. Grab it and uh, kind of read through it. It's an important one.